Let's get to the other breaking news story we're covering this afternoon. It's from Columbus City Schools. The teachers just gave notice to the state of their intention, the union there, to strike. And that strike notice comes after the two sides met yesterday and failed to agree on terms. Wednesday marked the 20th time the two sides met to work to come to uh, a negotiation, an agreement on a contract. 10 TV's Kevin Lander spoke with the union about what they hope to accomplish less than a half hour ago. Kevin. Yeah, good, good afternoon. What, so what happens now is, so the, the union filed this notice with the State Employment Relations Board. So what does that mean? That means it basically tells the school board uh, they're being put on notice that a strike is coming. However, it doesn't mean a strike is necessarily imminent. The union tells me they still have to have a mass vote to decide if they want to strike, and that will happen when their contract expires on August 22nd. If they vote to go to strike, then they'll strike at midnight on August 22nd. Here are the, here's what I'm told is the sticking point. The union apparently came to the school board with an agenda item that dealt with non-economic issues. The school board apparently decided they wanted to discuss both non-economic and economic issues. And when that happened, the union felt that they had changed the rules of the game and therefore they weren't negotiating in good faith. I just spoke to the spokesperson for the union. Here's what they had to say. We actually came to the table with a comprehensive list of the remaining non-economic issues that needed to be discussed and ready to go. The district said, you know, we gave our final offer July 28th. That's what we're willing to offer. And they walked away yet again. Now, the school board is saying that going on strike does nothing but hurt the students of the Columbus City School District. The union says what we're doing is striking so that we can benefit the students of the city school district in terms of things like air conditioning in the schools, in terms of shorter uh, class periods, and a number of other issues. So both sides are still at odds over what they're going to negotiate. The federal mediator has not yet said for them to come back, so it doesn't appear that they're going to be heading back to the table today. We'll have more on the story ahead tonight at 5 o'clock. Reporting live from East High School, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. All right, Kevin, thank you for that. We did receive the statement from the district's administrators calling the board's offer fair. Right now, the Columbus City Schools District says it's preparing for an alternative open, opening plan for August 24th. We're working to find out the impact on families, including if this district does intend to change the actual date that they start the school year. So we will continue to follow that.